So I just got down in the bottom and look who I found. We're gonna see if I can get around closer. 503 yards now. I don't know why you just don't shoot. It's, yeah, we'll just, we'll, we're gonna get a 400 at least. <laughs> I just wanna make sure I'm dead solid. So it's 378. Something. I think I lost my sunglasses. That's not cool. There's those nine dollars well spent. Yeah. I'm back. I'm up here, boy. Welcome to the Walmart door. I got two minutes left on this camera. Forgot all my memory cards. Gonna have to make it quick. I bet you want to see him, don't you? Boom. Look at that guy. I'll tell you this right now. I lose another big buck like that to these damn cameras. Patience is definitely a virtue that I have. More like this. That's a bad day right there. Hungry eat, thirsty drink. Cold, make fire. Gonna make mud. The Wadad burger. See what that is? Oh, that's too bad. I think the Wadad would taste better than this beef. <laughs> is that bright? You let me see if I, I can like turn it down. Light. Well, that's why I'm the cameraman. How's that? Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Oh, well. <sighs> what is this? Something? That's enduro. It'll make you wet your bed. This week, I'm hanging out in deep western Texas with my younger brother, Boyd. On this hunt, he and I are after Audad sheep and javelina. But most of all, we're just looking forward to spending time hunting together, as this is an occurrence that hasn't happened nearly often enough in the last several years. We are so close to the Mexico border that even my satellite phone is speaking Spanish. So it's a good thing that El Boido speaks it fluently. I don't think it would. Wing nut. There's a Tim word for you, wing nut. What's up, wing nut? That's a Jared Taylor word. The good thing about this hunt is that we're here in early April, when there's really nothing else going on in other parts of the West. The bad thing is that it's damn hot and we're catching the sheep right after their lambing season. Although we have permission to take a couple of ewes and a ram each, we're not at all interested in a ewe unless she's dry. And as it has been so far after a couple of days into it, the rams seem to be nowhere to be found. I think they might just all be ewes with lambs. I haven't seen a ram yet. I'm gonna wait till they kinda come out on that face. Since there's plenty of wildlife to film, I'm throwing Boyd into the fire and running him through a crash course on self-filming. I gave him a camera and said adios as he headed one way and I'm going another. Gosh, dang it. I do know, not know why in the heck my brother carries this stupid camera around with him everywhere he goes. It's a pain in the butt. I'm gonna fall down the freaking mountain trying to get anywhere. I think I'm going to shut it off for a minute until I get down this. See if I can see anything down there. He's more of a man than myself, I guess. This first time trying to do Tim's thing. I can't tell if that's in the wind's starting to pick up and it's a little sucky, but I I don't know if I got the shot on well, I don't know how good the shot is on film. And so I was afraid I might have missed, but then there's these stupid buzzards flying around and they keep landing up here, so they're looking for something. So maybe they're just trying to eat me, I don't know. But 
it, it'll be a miracle if I actually hit it, even though I was shooting an MOA, because I was shaking a little, I'll have to admit. Yeah, I can't believe that. Those dang buzzards led me right to it. I got a sheep. Oh, they smell good. That is incredible. Oh, it's a dink. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, are they cool or what? Dang, those horns are cool. That is cool, beautiful animal. I can't believe that. I sure hope Tim's having some luck. He invited me down, I didn't, I wasn't even sure I wanted to come because I wanted him to shoot one, so I hope he had some luck. Man, they are cool. I can't even imagine what a big ram looks like. I seriously cannot imagine. That's awesome. We designed the Solo Hunter Bino Harness to be ultra functional in the field, particularly for bow hunters. It needed to be low profile, compact, super quiet but durable, and have one handed operation. I think, for the most part, we nailed it. So I keep moving the camera around. I'm about sick of this filming thing. Tim says, oh, put it on different angles so it looks good, but crap, I can't get the dang thing loaded and out of here. I keep moving the camera around, but at least he won't be mad at me. So Tim's probably gonna give me heck for carrying the hide off, but they're just too cool. I gotta look at the hide a little longer, but I think I'm ready. It's gonna be a pain in the butt carrying. I might have to put my pole. I'll have to see how I carry my pole and that dang camera. Gosh. After getting Boyd's sheep all taken care of, we have just a few minutes of daylight to try our luck at some habos. And as luck would have it, we found a couple that we figured that Boyd could get on with his longbow. Dream come true, man. Dream come true, Tim. One of the first hunting videos Tim and I ever watched when I was like 11 was Pete Shepley and some dude going down in Arizona and smacking a javelina. Finally got a javelina. I finally filmed a javelina. <laughs> I can cut out the rooster of the damn thing. I am so excited, man. Finally got a javelina. Made the trip 100%. It was worth it before, but <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> Dream come true. It got up to 102 we saw in the truck yesterday. Went to three different mountain ranges looking for sheep. 
and just before dark all of a sudden two javelina went off the coolest thing I've ever seen I've always wanted to see a javelina we saw one along the road coming up here anyway Tim and I took off running we didn't bring our packs or no water or anything I thought thought maybe we were gonna lose them because I couldn't find them when we we're running up the hill and then all of a sudden it was like a gift seeing a couple javelina up in the rocks. I saw this one coming up from below alone and it looked bigger than the rest of them so I thought it was the lone boar. He took off running up the hill and we took off running. And now I understand why they say javelina are made for bow hunters because if you held still they'd run around and look around and not take off out of there so I, anyway I snuck up there again. I actually missed him the second shot. He was standing there perfect broadside just as I shot. He took off running. True Boyd fashion and just flinging arrows, but dream come true, true dream come true. Keeping your rifle protected, clean, and dry while hunting is a big priority, but so is having the ability to get at it quickly when you need it. That's where the rifle cover comes into play. I have this thing on my rifle all the time. Until it's time to pull the trigger, this rifle cover is on my rifle. The wind's blowing wrong. But it sure feels nice when it's this hot. <laughs> so I'm just kind of poking down in all these draws. Hopefully there's something within distance that can't get away after it sees me or smells me. But just kind of exploring this draw up here. Tim's over there on that other side. Oh, I see a Mitch. What? It's a little garden down there. It's awesome. Put my ears in because they're getting burned. So I look like a kid from Utah. My wife said she woke up to two inches of snow in Montana today. Told her she knows just what to say to make me feel good. Because I'd give anything for two inches of snow right now. Those are a little spooky. Something could come out of there and try to eat me. I have to crawl in there for shade. Finally found him. Just haven't found the sheep for him to go sneak up on yet. Up here on that big flat top mesa. There's actually a little bit of brush up here. Almost got the rifle off because I was hunting big old muleys and got to a timbered flat top. I'd probably be looking, but not seeing much fresh sign other than just jump the jackrabbit. But I'll probably jump a big old monster out at and then regret that I didn't get my gun ready. almost over to the top. So there's three ewes standing over there on that cliff, right up on the face of the cliff. The... No rams yet, still watching. They do move as fast as everybody says they do. They haven't been resting, and even though it's middle of the day and probably 90 degrees, they're just sitting there feeding along the cliff face. Probably traveled a couple hundred yards. I keep thinking they're gonna bed down. And then it's almost like one of them spooks the other and then they keep going. Crazy animals. I don't know, but it's hotter than hot. For information on Solo Hunter rifle covers or our Bino harness system, or to find us on social media for exclusive photos and videos, connect with us on our website at solohunter.com. So I just got down in the bottom and look who I found. Hot and dazed. And anyway, I see the, the three ewes are bedded up there. We're gonna see if I can get around closer. But now I have the true man watching me. <laughs> it's 503 yards now. I don't know why you just don't shoot. It's 500, 500 yards right here, but but I, yeah, 
We'll just, we'll, we're gonna get a 400 at least. <laughs> She's standing right in front of the cliff. You got her? I'm taking her. Okay, when she stops next, I'm taking her. All right, I'm ready. I hit the rock. I hit her. Look at the dust coming off her. All right. So yet again, I missed the first shot for some reason. But I got her. Tim, Tim had this, the camera on her. Now we're wondering if it was a good idea because she didn't roll down that goalie we were hoping she'd roll it down. <laughs> now it would be a little interesting trying to get up there. Who's that Joe, the photo bomber? Video bomb. Video bomb. I'm just talking. I turned the record button on. It's red. It's red. Where are you going, solo hunter? I'm going road. I'm going road. When you when you look at this footage, you're gonna say that dang brother of mine. He can't do anything right. I got the sun behind me, but if I would have focused on being the cameraman instead of wanting to shoot one too, that would have been the smart thing to do. Pretty much. That makes me feel real smart. Look at this guy. He's like going out in front of me. He's supposed to, he, he's refusing to go set the camera up on the other side of her so I can run up and poke her in the eye with the, the gun, make sure she didn't survive that. Well, all good cameraman be Oh yeah, that's right. I think you told me that once. Good cameramen are the best trackers. They're like lightning quick, because they'll just be in front of the camera, in front of the hunter one minute, and behind the hunter the next minute. I think I lost my sunglasses. That's not cool. There's those nine dollars well spent. Yeah, <laughs> company safety glasses. Hopefully nobody at work hears that. Actually, they Noel gave them to me. Rolling. There you go. She came off the cliff. We thought she was as big as Tim's yesterday. Not quite. They're still pretty. They're just amazing animals, man. Just can't believe it. It's just awesome watching them feed across there. They're just out there on the top. But yeah, we're getting our money's worth of meat, huh? Huh, Tim? <laughs> yeah, if it tastes any good. Yeah, we'll find out tonight. It'll be good. Yeah. Just been watching these three ewes, and this was the biggest one, and thought she was a more mature ewe, but looks young, but still just an animal we've never hunted before. It's pretty awesome. We gotta find us a ram, man. Good work. Get the knife out. Second shot, she was probably getting close to 400, huh? Do you think she ran 50 yards before I piled her again? Oh yeah, easy, maybe 100. It's about 1,000, 1,400 yards. Mm -hmm. Small target. 
like that 4,000 foot vertical climb Tim did yesterday. It's pretty impressive. Man, amazing animals. So far into the hunt, the rams have eluded us, but we've got three more days to see if we can get lucky and find a couple. But even if we don't, we're having a great time learning about a new species, chasing javelina with our stick bows, and catching up at giving each other a few jabs. Which one's the record?